number 11 for Mike Tyson, Sterling Benjamin. The opponent, Tyson, in the dark blue trunks with the white trim. Sterling Benjamin in the red. Last fight, Atlantic City, bit of a come down now. We're in Latham, New York State. We're in round one, Tyson's 11th fight. 10 wins, seven inside round one. Did I say seven? Make that eight, perhaps, in fight number 11. The count is five. And Sterling Benjamin just beats the count. On they go. Is he going to make the belt? Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance. The referee was just about to step in anyway. I was a little leery. I knew I was in there with a good fighter. I went the distance with some good fighters. And I was planning on just putting the pressure on him from the beginning to the end. I planned on coming out with a jab because I watched him in the DeWitt fight and he was counting with the right hand gun. And coming in the first round, I got grades with a right hand. And from then on, I know to slip my head and just keep coming forward. As for Benjamin, well, he was thoroughly impressed. He have a sledgehammer, man. You know, when I go down there, I feel it. He really hit hard. It's the hardest have I you? ever been hit. It is the hardest here. The hardest of my whole career, man. They keep lining him up, and Kid Catskill keeps knocking him down, and there will be no let-up for Mike Tyson either. He, he goes to Houston on the 13th. He's going to fight some Texas champ, and I think the guy's Richardson is his name. I don't know anything about him. They're supposed to have a film. But again, as long as Mike can hit them, if he hits them clean, they're going to go. So Mike Tyson continues to be a very busy man, but it's getting harder and harder now to find anybody who wants anything to do with him. I mean, no fighter wants to get run over by a truck.